Alejandro Mayorkas, the Secretary of Homeland Security, was blaming Republicans yesterday on NBC's Meet the Press, saying it's the fault of the Republicans, that it's the, they take the responsibility for this broken immigration system. Is our immigration system broken? I would love to get your reaction to what he was saying. 605 336 1320 is the Kello Hotline. Call me right now. 605 336 1320. Please give me a shout. I love hearing from you. 605 336 1320. What's your reaction to what Mayorkas was saying yesterday on NBC News Meet the Press? He said, when it comes to these migrant crossings on the southern border, blaming Republicans, is this the fault of Republicans that we see and what we see happening? He said, because um, Kristen Welker, who is the host of Meet the Press, said, you know, the president has called this a crisis. And Mayorka said, well, it certainly is a crisis, and we don't bear a responsibility for a broken system, and we're dealing a tremendous amount within that broken system. But fundamentally, Congress is the one who can fix it. So he's saying this issue with the border, Congress can fix it, and they're not doing it, and it's on Congress. What's your reaction to that? I'd love to hear from you, 605-336-1320. If you'd like to join the program, please do, 605-336-1320. So he said, again, fundamentally, Congress is the only one who can fix it. So then Welker asked whether he agrees with the president that the border is not secure. And he said, well, there's no question that we have a broken system. And then he put it back on Congress again. There's no question that Congress needs to fix it. Is that true? Does Congress need to fix this? I'd appreciate your perspective on this issue of the border. 605-336-1320. He said, we're doing everything we can within that broken system, short of legislation, to address what is not just a challenge for the United States, but one throughout our region. So this is a challenge then throughout the region for Mexico, Canada, um, because I was pretty taken aback by these comments uh, by Mayorkas. Once again, it's it's what we've heard from him uh, repeatedly. I'm just curious if you believe it. How is it that Congress is somehow this is the fault of Congress? I'm not certain how he arrives at that conclusion when the president, through executive order himself, could secure the border. Donald Trump did it. So... Let's get to some of your thoughts. Great time to call the program. Please do. 605-336-1320. Good morning, Ken. You're on Kello. Good morning, Greg. Hope you're doing great. I am, buddy. Thanks. Hey, so the the immigration system, if people go back in time, all the way back, and I have a vivid memory of uh, Bill Clinton, who was the first one that started the bark about the immigration system. Every president since during their State of the Union, which Biden doesn't want to give because he can't, uh, has said the same thing. But listen, what they're saying is, number one, the president has absolutely zero power to change things, which is ridiculous. If he wanted to change something, he would. And Mayorkas, if he says we got a crisis now and the border system is broken, he needs to be put up on charges for lying to Congress again because he said numerous times, we have a secure border. It's ridiculous. Yeah, with such a laugh, I, I agree with you. Every time he would say that, I'm like, you have got to be kidding. And now for him to go back on that and saying it's the system, the system is broken, 
hey, wait a minute. He told us for months the border was secure. <laughs> he sure did. And he just, in essence, he called himself a liar. And I just can't believe that people that sit there and, and interview him, you know, they're never going to let anything else come to the people's ears except what they want to. And we do need uh, the powers of the president. I mean, what did Trump do? Look at that. He's the, he was the president. He figured out something to slow it down greatly. And Biden's just taking naps. It sure seems like it. Ken, thanks for the call, my friend. Great to hear from you. 605-336-1320 is the Kello hotline. So Welker um, said, you know, she pointed to Republicans calling for Biden to shut down the border. And so she asked Mayorkas, why doesn't the president just shut down the border and let the courts try to stop him? And Mayorkas said, well, the administration has taken several steps and we will continue to review what options are available to us. Are you fighting to keep your breakfast down? Because because I am. Absolutely. Sean, good morning. You're on Kello. Good morning, Greg. Yeah, it, if I'd had my breakfast already, I'd be <laughs> yeah. pretty churning. But, yeah, it's, it is not cool. I mean, it, you listen to him. And he and it sounds like he simply expects the media to trumpet the narrative for him that regardless of what he says, they are gonna spin it for him. They're his last line of defense, his line of interpretation. And so he can just say whatever he wants to say and the the party line, the the, the administration's narrative is gonna get pushed. And it's it's absolutely frustrating because Again, he's yeah, he's lying through his teeth because he has said, "Oh, it's secure, it's secure, it's secure," and now it's a crisis that only Congress can fix. And again, he's talking through his hat because we know that the president has the power to issue the executive order, shut it down, do what's necessary to to secure it, and he won't do it. And it's and it's just ridiculous. And I mean, if I really am looking forward to the vote that hopefully is coming up here shortly, and when Scalise gets back, that they can actually vote to impeach Mayorkas because he does not deserve that position. Well, you went right. I mean, you read my mind. That's and that's right where I was headed. Is does he need to be removed? Are you hopeful that Republicans are going to continue that effort, although they bungled it last week? I. I really hope they do that they they get their ducks in a row and they get they get the votes lined up so again they can ask the question and know the answer and start that impeachment process because if Joe can't go Mayorkas needs to go. Well said. Hey Sean, thanks for your thoughts. Phone lines are open. It's a great time to join the program. 605-336-1320 605-336-1320 Six zero five three three six thirteen twenty. Good morning, Will. You're on Kello. Hey, Greg. Morning from Bizarro World. Another <laughs> yes, fine sir. day, isn't it? <laughs> yes, it is. So, yes. Yeah, so the border was secure until Democrats could blame Republicans for not securing it. You know, trying to figure that one out. You know, that entire border security bill had millions of billions not securing the border. It had millions of billions securing other countries' borders. Borders, but not ours. No. So, what do we? Where do we go from here? So, it, and, uh, see, unfortunately, it's like like the other callers and you have said, it's the impeachment of Mayorkas to make a statement, but then it's also um, it's also a messaging thing. The Republicans have got to get on the ball of countering the legacy media narrative. They've got to put. You know, put, get on the streets of these major Democrat cities that are being overrun by these, you know, illegal migrants. And, yeah, talk to people on the streets and get the counter message going and working. Which is, a, uh, I think, a great point that, you know, continue yes. to build support and tell the story. Um, I think it's getting to the point, you know, I mentioned some of these que- uh, questions by Kristen Welker on Meet the Press yesterday, 
even the legacy media can't hide from this anymore. I mean, they're having to bring up the issue. Exactly, yes. And my, my, well, <clears throat> excuse me, my ongoing theory is that it's all going to be New York. New York is going to be the first city to buckle because of this. That, that's going to be the tipping point. Once New York falls and buckles under the pressure and the, the unsustainability of this practice by the Biden administration, that's when that's going to be the, the red pill, if you will, the wake up call for, you know, those those independent voters that are maybe on the fence. So you fear that is it inevitable that that will happen at yes, this point? Yes. Oh, yes. hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. New York is going to be the first. It was either it's either going to be New York or Chicago, but I've, I'm thinking city to buckle and actually, you know, the the, the 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 Democrats that run that will have to go and they'll have to stand up and make a statement, be like, this is we're 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 bankrupt. Our city is bankrupt. Yeah, absolutely right. Hey, Will, thanks for the call. I appreciate your perspective. Phone lines are open right now. It's a great time to call 605-336-1320. 605-336-1320 if you'd like to join the program. I think the, as Sean was saying, the impeachment of Mayorkas, um, his misstatements and, excuse me, and the number of lies that, that he has told regarding the border, First, I the border is secure, the border is secure, the border is secure. Now it's a broken system. Oh, it's a broken system, and it's Congress who's the blame. They're the only ones who can fix it. What's your reaction to just that statement? That Congress is the only one that can fix it. Do any of you buy that for a moment? I would love to hear from you. 605-336-1320. So, again, you know things are bad when the, because the legacy media, they're going to prop up this administration as best they can, whenever they can. And when things are so bad that even the legacy media doesn't want to be connected to this stuff, if they, if they don't. That's a, you, you see them then starting to perform, at least at times, not overall, but at least at times, you will see them start to perform their actual duties. And that is try to get answers, try to hold people accountable, let the American public know what's going on versus, you know, to obscure the you know the waters to make a convoluted, confusing, blaming the wrong people. Generally, that's what the media is involved in. So, when Kristen Welker starts asking these kinds of questions, you know it's bad news for this administration. There's no other. No other way to, I think there's no other conclusion that you can draw. The things are so dark that even the legacy media is like, eh, we don't want to be a part of that. Yeah, we're not going to help peddle that. So she, I mean, again, she said, why doesn't the president just shut down the border and let the courts try to stop him? Because he doesn't want to shut down the border. He doesn't want to. I mean, and that's what we need to start hearing from the media. Because Welker doesn't go far enough when she said, well, why doesn't the president just shut down the border and let the courts just try to stop him? He won't. But he won't. This is what he wants. And that's what's so frustrating, I think, for many of us. 605-336-1320 is the Kello hotline. Good morning, Bruce. You're on Kello. Hello, Greg. Good to be with you. You too, Bruce. Yeah, this is the perspective that uh, it's the impression that I've been getting. If you follow the Venezuelans and they go by land up to here, they would be going to Colombia and then Panama, Costa Rica, 
Nicaragua, Honduras, Guatemala, and Mexico to get here. So in that sense, all those nations' borders are broken. Yeah, and it's a good, which is a good point. Agreed. Well, and, and you wonder, are they just letting people pass through their borders because they know they're on their way to the United States? I wouldn't be surprised, taking in mind that uh, Colombia and Mexico are really big in the drug. They've got these big yep. drug cartels. Yes. And China, they've got the fentanyl coming in here through Mexico, it sounds like. Also take into consideration that they found that bag of cocaine, whatever, on the floor in the White House, and nobody has any idea how that got there. I think that uh, this is a, a big drug thing used to topple our country because we're the major roadblock to the globalists taking over. And everybody's in on it that I mentioned. Well, I, I appreciate your call. Thank you, Bruce, for your thoughts. 605-336-1320 is the Kevo hotline. 605-336-1320. So Mayorkas is blaming Congress. He said Congress has failed to take action, and that's the reason. And as I have said, that that's just absolute bunk because we saw Donald Trump taking action on the taking executive action on the border, and he did it all on his own. You know, being able to. Uh, You know, secure the border without Congress having to do anything other than support him. So why isn't Joe Biden doing the same thing? 605-336-1320 is the Kello hotline if you'd like to join the program. Or you can drop me an email anytime, greg.belfridge at keloam.com. Good morning, Todd. You're on Kello. Hey, Greg, um, about this border crisis, yes, it is broken. And I think the liberal news media uh, sees that this is kind of like a powder keg ready to explode. And I guess look at the violence that's happening in New York City. And, you know, the Democrats and the latest news media, they don't do anything besides, you know, they look at the polls. And this is the hottest thing right now in the election Right now, 70% of the people want something done with the border. Yep. And uh, I also, I think it's, you know, it's starting to even affect, um, you know, we're kicking out, you know, people that should be in government housing. And, you know, we're putting these people in because these states don't have a anywhere uh, anywhere to go with them. And I think, Greg, it's just, it's a powder keg and it's going to go one of these days and and what also scares me, Greg, about this whole thing happened up in um, uh, Omar's district when they caught that Somalian terrorist. And uh, the, they want you to believe it's just a bunch of, uh, you know, young ladies with babies coming in from South America. And it's not. And that's what scares me, Greg. Great points, Todd. Thank you so much for your phone call. Want to get to a, as many of your thoughts as I can here. Good morning, Stephen. You're on, Kello. Yeah, good morning. Um, if it is, I don't know. Um, but, well, it, it always is. It always is, uh, my always friend. Are you drawing so breath? Well, not just the border, but look at how all these uh, people are stealing our uh, tax money to uh, set these people up in the country. And it's both sides, as I see it. You look, Republicans are in on it, too, and Congress holds the purse, purse strings. How come they're not cutting money? And I don't think the executive decisions are legitimate, these executive orders. I don't think that that's a valid power of the presidency, and no one's except, save uh, Rand Paul, is uh, speaking truth about what's really yeah, going but on. the president but can it but when it can when we're talking about executive orders on the border we're talking about the president giving directives to the people who work underneath him and that in that capacity executive orders are completely legitimate oh 
Well, we got a whole mechanism. Uh, you look at your charities that are setting these people up in this system. So it's a big conspiracy, I see. All right, Stephen. Thanks for your thoughts. I appreciate it. Uh, I welcome all your calls. So thanks very much. Very much appreciated.